Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and test the Hoinya Kitchen Timer 2 pack. So let's first take a look around the outside of the package. So in this clear plastic packet are two Hoinya Kitchen Timers and just taking a look at the details that's on the box packaging. And now let's go ahead and open up the clear plastic packet. And slide both packs of Poinia kitchen timers on the tabletop and setting that packet to the side. So giving you a look at both the kitchen timers. So they are identical being a two pack. So I'm just going to set one on the left side as we focus on just one of them. So giving you a look once again, this time a single packet or box and giving you a look at the details that's on it. So very, very small or fine print at the underside or back of the box packaging, but nonetheless giving you a look at the details right there. And now let's go ahead and open up the box by, of course, popping open the box flap and tipping the contents out from it. I'm just checking through and there is or what appears to be a user manual or some kind of paper booklet in there. So I'm just going to set the box to the side. So setting the box on the left hand side along with the other box from this two pack. So I'm just going to set it on the tabletop. And of course the timer instruction manual so giving you a look as it is straight out of the box packaging and unfolding the user manual or instruction manual which appears to be just a single folded up leaflet. It's right there giving you a look at the operating instructions and timing settings and stopwatch functionality as well as detailed on this user manual or instruction manual. Okay, so folding that up and setting it to the side. So I'm just going to set that on the right hand side of the tabletop. And of course, now taking a look at the Hoinya kitchen timer itself, a single one from the two pack. And let's go ahead and slide it out from its clear plastic packet and just brushing that loose piece of paper to the side. So just setting it on the tabletop once again, but this time with the clear plastic packaging removed. So you have a clear and full view and resting it in my palm to give you some sense of its size. And of course, holding or gripping it. Okay, and taking a closer in look, so we can see that it does appear to have a large LCD with rounded corners and three buttons for the minute, seconds, and start stop functionality. And it does have this lightweight black plastic body. So just taking a look at the details around it. So there appears to be an on off switch as well to the side. And at the back there appears to be a foldable stand or leg. And a magnetic back, of course, 
a hook for hanging the timer and there is of course a battery compartment as well let's pop that open and it appears to take a single AAA battery to operate so giving you a look right there at the battery compartment okay I'm just going to close it back up so very sleek and simple in design so taking a look at the overall details of this Hoynia kitchen timer with stopwatch functionality so once again we see that switch to the side which appears to be an on off power switch for the timer so now let's go ahead and pop a battery into it a triple A battery and over here I have an Amazon Basics triple A pre-charge rechargeable battery which I've unboxed on the channel before so giving you a look right there at the battery and let's pop it into the battery compartment of the kitchen timer and of course replacing the battery cover so you can see just how clear and large the digits display on that LCD so four digits and the M and S representing minutes and seconds so let's hit the start stop button which is on the far right and the largest button and see what happens see if that activates the start stop function and right there you can see the seconds accumulating or going up and just hitting the start stop button again stops the timing and let's hit it again so there nice and responsive and with a beep to let you know that you've actually engaged or activated the button okay and let's see it stand upright so just flipping out the foldable leg or stand that's at the back and giving you a look at the kind of viewing angles of course which is quite important when it comes to being able to view it as you go about your task or tasks So large and clear in display with the minutes and seconds adding away right there. Okay, and let's stop and clear or reset by pressing the minutes and seconds button. So just like that, clearing or resetting the stopwatch functionality. And let's try the timer function. Let's add some minutes to it by pressing on the minutes button or M. So we're giving one minute and three seconds. And let's start the timer and watch it count down.
and there you can hear the timer beeping away once that preset time that was set of 1 minute 3 seconds was depleted. And just tapping on the start stop button resets back to the preset time and if we need to clear it we can always press the M and S buttons together but let's see if we can continue adding to that as well so we can still manipulate the time and we can even hold it down as well so right there adding to the second so it does roll over back to zero so individually the minutes and seconds operate separately when it comes to setting our desired countdown time so we have a maximum minutes of 99 minutes as it rolls back down to zero again so so the maximum time we can set on this timer is 99 minutes and of course 59 seconds so just giving you a look right there as it shows on the display so you can of course pressing the two buttons does reset or clear the setting Nonetheless, just giving you a look at the maximum time. So 99 minutes and 59 seconds, so that's an hour and 40 minutes. Which is the maximum settable countdown time. So that would be the maximum Countdown time that we can set on this Hoynia kitchen timer. And of course, we can do the stopwatch as well, so which we tested at the beginning. So that's the Hoynia kitchen timer 2 pack. Thanks for watching and happy timing!